I am a Roan State instructor and this 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 was my classroom. We had discussed over about a two-year period doing some kind of a team teaching field trip type course and that's how it came about and I don't think either one of us would have ever assumed it would have lasted as long as it has and I thought maybe we might be able to do it a couple years and then that would be it but uh, as it turned out I was involved in it for 35 years so there you go. I'm thankful for the Southwest Field Trip class because it's taught me a lot. I've got to see a lot of great places and I got to conquer some of my biggest fears with heights. And that's something that you just can't learn in a regular classroom setting. I was really intimidated. There was a 32 foot ladder that I didn't think that I was gonna be able to get up, but the support from the team was incredible. Okay, the ruins. That was the big thing, is seeing how people had lived um, in that time and how they had tools that they, that they used and how they functioned and what their lifestyle was like. So, I mean, that was a big, different thing. Until about three, four, five hundred and eighty. But a lot of it was seeing, seeing the areas. I mean, the things that stick out in my mind now when I think about it are what the Grand Canyon looked like. I still remember that. I remember seeing the mules go down and thinking, oh my goodness, how do they not fall off of that tiny little narrow trail? And oh my goodness, I thought I was going to freeze to death in the Grand Canyon. Well, I just felt freezing cold. You think, how cold could it get from warm during the day? enjoyed the most about this trip of how I connected with nature and um, I think my favorite place of the trip so far has been Mesa Verde in Colorado. I, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and I would love to go back. And I'm so glad I've got this opportunity and I, I couldn't imagine it being any more perfect. Here lies the Colorado River at the bottom. It's super cold. I'm gonna take y'all on a tour of the Colorado River. It's super cold. I'm gonna go in the water now. For me, the best experience of the trip is just seeing the students' faces. I always remember uh, each year uh, the first uh, the first dawn. Uh, we've been driving all night. It's always a difficult uh, drive having all those people in the vans. But when we get to New Mexico and the sun starts to come up and the students wake up and realize, oh, I'm not in Tennessee anymore. Some of the looks on their faces are great. And seeing the looks on their faces when they see some of the landmarks, uh, driving down the road that was that was tunneled into the walls of Zion and as you're driving down the road you look to your right and you see these little windows and you can see the canyon of Zion just a little bit at a time it sort of gets you warmed up and then all of a sudden the road opens up and the switchbacks and it's breathtaking I mean even for me I'd never been to Zion until the first time 
uh, I went with the field trip and it took my breath away. The Southwest Field Trip provides an opportunity for students to experience aspects of the world that they would not otherwise uh, have been able to. Uh, they, they're able to face challenges, uh, see new places, learn about new people uh, in different uh, environments, and, and learn about people in, in the group, so people from around here, uh, and, and overcome some difficulties that they wouldn't have otherwise had the opportunity uh, to do. It, it really is that overcoming of challenges and uh, experience of new places and diversity of opinions and diversity of, of things. And there's something too about, about seeing a thousand year old building in a canyon that's hundreds of millions of years old to, to help you sort of see your, your place in the big picture. You have to seize the opportunity of a lifetime during the lifetime of the opportunity. really left me with the impression that um, what I leave behind is super important and I need to be careful about what I leave behind. You know, you got to get out there and see things. Uh, going to the Southwest really opened my eyes to how big the world really is and you know, you got to take a break from life and go see things. I met my wife on this field trip and she was walking along with me and I pitched her my camera and she pulled me out of the quicksand. She probably regrets that sometimes uh, today, but she did. There was a little a village area, little shops, restaurants, and I learned to two-step uh, from a, a mule skinner. I mean, he actually had the spurs and everything. And Canyon de Chez, the uh, rock pinnacle that kind of came up through the middle of the canyon, um, really moved me, even spiritually moved me. Um, I can't really describe it, just there was something there. Not to mention the dedicated professors, I mean, it, it takes a lot to take a group of students all over the western U.S. and so I think it shows their commitment to making sure you get a quality education. One of the most important lessons that I learned on the Southwest Field Trip was diversity and the different cultures. You have to get along with people. You have to know that we have different personalities, different traits, different skill sets. But if you work together as a cohesive team, you can have a successful Southwest field trip. Just lets these kids learn that there's a, a bigger world than just right here in Rome County. In 1980. 
1981. 